What is up everybody? This is Mr. Tony Stark and today we're going to be talking about haters. As you saw by the title, we love haters. I love freaking haters. I love people that all they want to do is just talk crap. They just want to put their miserable lives on everyone else. And we're going to talk about the three different categories of haters and why they are actually good for you. If you're on YouTube and good for you, um, if you're in any kind of uh, social networking or social outlet. Now, if you think about it, haters really can only have a few, reason, few reasons for hating. Um, when you break it down and look at why they're, you know, disliking your videos or why they're leaving nasty comments, you know, or, or why someone's mad at you on Xbox Live, haters are only mad for three different reasons, okay? First of all, the f first category of hating would be something or someone that you actually wronged in real life or online. Like if they're actually offended by you or something that you did. So then they have a reason to not like you and then by that they're going to not give you any kind of positive feedback or positive energy. They're going to be giving you all kinds of negative. Everything that they say is going to be negative because they don't like you. Because you did something to them. That kind of dislike and that kind of uh, relationship is actually going to be more of a justified hating. Um, if you know, not that I'm not saying that we should all go out and hate someone if they wrong us, because that's not right either. Because you shouldn't hold grudges or anything like that. But if someone wrongs you, you have a you know you have an an okay kind of uh, you basically get a free pass, as it were, to not really like that person if they you know if they just rub you the wrong way. So in that aspect, that kind of hating, we're not really going to talk about that so much. So that category that we're going to put that to the side. The second category is going to be jealousy. Jealousy is the number one cause of hate on YouTube, Xbox, uh, PS3, any kind of gaming, you know, online, all of that. Jealousy is the main driving force be behind, I would say, at least 80 to 90 percent of the hate that goes on today. Why is that? Because our human nature is that whenever we see someone that is better than us or has something that we don't, we want it. We covet it. We want to have what they have because we don't have it. And along with that comes the the jealous feelings, which leads to not liking that person because of their success, because of their position, any of those things. So if you look at it that way, whenever you're getting hate on your videos, whenever you're getting hate online, you have to figure out which category these people are in. So we have the first category, like I said, the ones that you've actually wronged. The second category being that these people are jealous. They're jealous of you, and that's a good thing. And that's really what I wanted to focus on, hating being bad, or hating being good, rather. Hating being good for you. The haters themselves are good for you because that shows that you're doing something right. If these haters are there because they're jealous of you, that means that you... Are doing something right. Whenever I get dislikes on my video, the only reason that I don't like it is because it messes up the little ratio of green to red, and I'm OCD about that, and that's that's it. So if you're hating on my videos and you're disliking them and you're leaving me comments, I actually like that because not only are you giving me views and giving me ratings, but you're actually helping me to determine what I'm doing right and maybe what I'm doing wrong. So if it's legitimate hate, if I'm actually doing something wrong and, uh, and I'm bad at what I do, then the hating is actually going to help me improve. So I never look at people that give me negative feedback in a bad way because it always is going to help you improve or prove to, to yourself that you're actually doing things right. Now the third category of hating will be um, the ones that do it just for fun. The ones that they get their, their kicks off of hating. They have no purpose. They don't know you. They don't care about you. You know, in real life, they might even like you. But they get their kicks off of seeing people worked up by the negative feedback that they're getting. Um, like in uh, The Dark Knight, in Batman, the Joker, you know, he has no purpose and he has no plan or anything like that. And, and they have the, you know, the famous quote, you know, some men just want to watch the world burn. That's it. These kind of haters, the third category of haters, they have no purpose in their hating or any of that but to just do it. That's what they do. You know, the guys that grief my server on Minecraft, that's what they did. That they they just wanted to do it because that's that's how they get their fun. You know, they they can't get their fun any other way 
but by making other people seem or you know try to make them miserable and um and those are the the most pathetic kind of haters in my opinion it but ultimately the kind of hating is going to break it down into one of those three categories and we can always figure out which one it is you either don't like the person so you hate on them or you're jealous of the person so you hate on them or you know you have nothing better to do so you're just you're just trying to pick a fight the trolls on YouTube that's become the biggest fad you know that's everything there's channels just built on trolling and griefing and all this kind of stuff that's all they want to do is just see someone else's reaction they want to see your reaction so my, the moral of, of this story and talking about haters and you know really focusing on are they good for your channel are they good for your social networking the answer is yes they are they are very good because they are giving you attention whether they would like to uh, admit it or not they're giving you attention and some of them end up being your biggest fans and the only way that they know how to get your attention is to hate on you because they expect a reaction and some kind of reaction is better than no reaction even if it's negative so if you're getting hate and you're telling these people you know to F off and I don't need you and uh, you know you, you block them that's giving them in an aspect of what they want because they want a reaction from you it's better than ignoring them completely in their minds now for me I just if someone's hating on me I will usually laugh about it or I'll you know make one comment and leave it at that but I'm not gonna give them the time of day you know making their day better by giving them what they want they want the reaction they want to see you upset and so that's the moral of the story whenever you get hate look at it in one of those three categories look at it in the way that you are actually benefiting from it you're actually doing well and benefiting from the fact that you have haters haters are good and if they're mad bro then we're glad bro that was really cheesy but that's the moral of the story and i hope that uh, maybe this has shed some light on the fact that um haters are good for you if you disagree leave a comment in the comment section below if you want to hate leave it in the comment section below until next time guys peace